I imagine that some of us live in fear of Lent. Prayer and fasting and almsgiving are traditional ways of marking our Lenten journey towards the cross of Christ. But it can seem a little bit like we're setting ourselves up to fail. With all the intentions of a good Christian, we set about declaring what we're going to give up or choose our daily devotionals, uh, readings and prayer times and thinking about how we might help those around us. And of course, if you're anything like me, you'll be halfway through an almond croissant before you remember you're supposed to have given them up. You'll have missed three days of reading from John's Gospel, which you promised you would read, and you end up reading them all in one sitting, and you'll definitely drop those bits off to food bank tomorrow. Life has a habit of inhibiting us from following through on our promises to God. And I want to say that actually it's okay. It's, it's okay to place all our good intentions in front of God and, and then stuff it up. It isn't in the completion or the successful resistance of temptation that we find our closeness and reliance on God. It's in the failure. It's in the need for more of God to help get us over the line. The need of God's help and guidance to, to find God. The need of the knowledge of God's love to remind us it's the striving not to fail that matters, not the failure itself. I'm actually more worried that I'll fulfil my Lenten disciplines because if I'm not falling short of them, or at least tempted to, then perhaps I've chosen too easy a path. Our desire for a closer relationship to the Trinity is the path that we should choose at Lent. Father Thomas Merton said, The goal of fasting is inner unity. This means hearing not with the ear, hearing not with the understanding, it's hearing with the spirit, with your whole being. So winning or losing or succeeding or failing isn't the point. It's what the process stirs within the soul that's the point. So don't be afraid if it seems that you've set yourself up to fail. God has hands outstretched to help us up. And that's when our connection to the divine is the strongest of all. Amen.